Hello and welcome to my a little video overview of Android 2.2 Froyo running on a Motorola Droid. Uh, this is the MyDroidWorld.com release from P3 and Guido767. Um, and so yeah, here it is. Android 2.2 Froyo running at 1 gigahertz. You can see right there. On a Motorola Droid. Um, I'm not using the stock launcher. Um, I instead use the Launcher Pro Launcher, how they have in the four buttons at the bottom, as well as the nice multi-screen preview, so you can choose to use that as well. Uh, works beautifully on uh, on Froyo. Um, but let's let's look at a few things that you uh, you gain from Froyo. Uh, first of all, of course, the big talk is the fact that it's faster with the JIT compiler and uses less uh, of your RAM with. Uh, some uh, memory optimizations they've done, and um, that's something that's hard to kind of show, but I can definitely say in utilization it is faster. Um, I know a lot of people have gotten like launcher lag before where they try and come back to their launcher and it has to be reloaded because it's, you know, it, it's been kicked out of memory or something like that. Um, the only time I get launcher lag at all is um, if I've been using like a desktop style flash application um, and, and it's consumed a fair amount of RAM, loading all of its objects and stuff. Otherwise, um, it's just been really fast and really great. You can see also with the new kernels we do have working Wi-Fi. Um, and in fact I am on Wi-Fi right now for uh, the sakes of this whole demonstration. Uh, first of all, let's go to the market. And uh, it'll look really similar to anything you're used to seeing in the uh, the 2.0 and above series um, in terms of the style and everything, but if we go actually into a category You can see the category and everything, those look about the same. Um, all that's organized in a nice similar way to what we're used to seeing. But if you actually come into an application, you'll notice now that you get the ability to uh, rate it. At the very top here, though, we have Allow Automatic Updates, and you can do that on a per um, application basis. The description and the photos. And now comments have been moved off to um, their very own tab. And you can also... Um, when you kind of, you know, see a comment, you can click on it and say that it was helpful, unhelpful, or spam. We're going to say hey, that one was helpful. And, uh, and, yeah, so I'm kind of an update to the market. And go to your download list, and right now I don't have anything available to update, so it's not too exciting. But when there's an update, there is a button at the bottom here that just says update all, so you don't have to individually update for those ones that you don't have set for automatic updates um, on their own. So, yeah, that's the market. Um, now, of course, one of the other big things is the new browser. Um, looks and feels just like the browser from 2.1, but JavaScript is a lot faster with the V8 engine. Um, but the other really big thing, of course, is Flash 10.1. Um, Adobe has this little kind of showcase site where they kind of recommend certain things to you. And so for the sake of this demonstration, we're going to go to Congregate, which is a bunch of uh, Flash games. And Congregate has picked a selection of games that they believe work really well with a touch interface. Um, and so today I was playing this game, Screw the Nut Mobile, a lot. Now you can see right here um, uh, that uh, the plugin didn't load auto automatically. Because actually what you can do is when you go into your settings, um, under plugins here, Plugins can be set always on, on demand, or off. And so I set mine to on demand, so it's basically like having flash block on your desktop for your uh, your mobile device, which I think is great. Um, so you don't see flash ads and stuff like that if you don't want, but there you go. That is flash content running right inside your mobile phone's browser. Now, if the, uh, the flash content supports full screen mode, you just kind of long press on it, and it brings up that full screen mode button there. And for a game like this, we can drop into landscape. And here we go. As you can see, it is a nice flash game. Runs really well right inside your mobile browser. Um, any point, you can hit the back button, pop right back out, and, uh, and you're ready to rock and roll. One other. Um, thing I thought I'd show you just because, uh, um, not because it's that entertaining, but it just, in my opinion, has really good animation. Uh, Nickelodeon has a couple games that they've squared away, and uh, there's this one for the Fairly Odd Parents. Same thing, long press. Okay, I just thought this was a good example of uh, 
something with good animations running just really beautifully inside the browser. And not, it, it doesn't seem to have a bad battery drain. It's no different than running native games, in my opinion. I've been playing with it a whole lot today. Skip intro. And here you go. So, truly an exciting game, of course. <laughs> so again, um, it's hard doing the dark here. Pop back. And you're good to go. So yeah, there we go. Flash uh, 10.1. Right inside, um, right inside the browser there. Uh, that works great. A um, couple other little tweaks that you'll find. Uh, inside the gallery, I don't know how practical this is or isn't as of yet. Um, oh, great demonstration with the gallery not loading there for us. Um, oh, don't know why that took a second there. Normally it's very snappy. But you can um, now do the whole pinch nomenclature to kind of expand those out a little bit. I'm not sure how practical that is, but kind of a neat little thing they added anyways. Um, so yeah, um, other little things. You now get to see up to eight recent um, things. I just restarted the phone before this demo, so there's only the ones we've done so far showing. And does that nice little kind of fade out effect there. Um, for those of you that want to see it, there's set CPU showing the one gigahertz and uh, uh, nope, not advanced. Sorry, I meant to go to system info. You can see we can do a short benchmark. Show you that there. Um, long benchmark. There we go. So uh, it's fast. <laughs> um, kind of old applications work great. You know, I haven't had any problems with that. The only application I have that won't run is uh, is Droid Light. So I don't have a flashlight. I don't know what to, I'm going to do with myself. Everything else has just worked like a champ. Um, so I am extremely impressed. It's stable as I'll get out. And there you go, Android 2.2 running on the Motorola Droid.